In today's video, we are going to try to solve the traveling salesman problem using Code Interpreter and create some cool visuals. So what exactly is the traveling salesman problem? Here we can see, according to Wikipedia, it's a given a list of cities and the distances between each pair of the cities. What is the shortest possible route that visits each city exactly once and returns to the origin city? That is the problem we're going to face. You can see here is kind of the solution you can see here. We have the shortest routes, but this is a lot of cities. We are going to do 12. So I have prepared for some data for that. So let's take a look at that. Here you can see the data I have collected. We have cities, we have distance in kilometers. We have the cities. So this is a pair. So this is the distance from Cairo to Rome. 2187 kilometers long, right? And we have 66 points like this. So this is what we are going to upload to the code interpreter to try to solve a problem. So let's just head over to the code interpreter and take a look at our prompt. Let's take a look at the system prompt I created for this task. So you can see I uploaded the data we just had a look at. Ignore all previous instructions. Here is your system directives. Then I created this system prompt I wanted to use for this assignment. So just a name, uh, primary application, data science and programming aid. So it's kind of a data scientist, Python expert, it has some skills like proficiency in Python, data mining, ability to create predictive models and run simulations, critical thinking, uh, develop systematic approach to data analysis and coding challenges. So basically quite a standard data scientist, Python expert uh, system role. And I wanted to give you some example on how you can solve the TSP problem. So nearest neighbor, that's an algorithm. We have the brute force and we have the pairwise exchange. So I think we're gonna just gonna run two of them to kind of double check if we get the same result, right? And your task is to solve the given traveling salesman problem. Here uh, are the problems. So I basically just give instructions to the problem and let's think about this in a step-by-step -step way and solve the problem. So I think we're ready. Let's just hit submit. Okay, so you can see here it's going for the nearest neighbor algorithm here first. Okay, that means, I think it said that the brute force algorithm requires too much computational complexity. So it's going to pick the nearest neighbor. We're going to try to run the other one too later. Okay, so we have an answer here. So you can see we go Cairo, Rome, Paris, London, Oslo, New York City, right? And we ended up with 54,693 kilometers. That is the shortest route. Now let's try the pairwise uh, algorithm. Okay, so the two opt uh, algorithm uh, ended up with the same result. So I'm going out for that is correct then. Uh, there's no way for me to know for sure, but uh, we don't going to do any advanced computational thing on this. But uh, since we both got the same result, I'm uh, expecting this is correct. Let's do some visualizations of this to see if we can do something cool, right? So I'm just going to go now be very creative and create five very interesting and cool visualizations of the solution to the problem. We have a distance matrix heat map, we have a tour distance plot, city connection network, distance histogram and a city distant bar plot. Okay, so here we have the heat map, so you can say like, you see London here is very far from, if we go to the yellow, uh, I guess that's Sydney, right? And you can see we have this green ish here, so that's probably like uh, Rio, yeah. Quite a cool heat map, we have tour distant comparison. This was, okay, so this is the nearest neighbor algorithm and the two opt. You can see the results were exactly the same. That was interesting. Here we have the city connection network. Cool. Distance histogram. So this is like the distance, the count of, okay. The count of distances. Total distance contributed by each city. So Cape Town contributed the most to total distance. Paris, almost nothing. So I wanted to try to create a visualization of the solution on a map. So I'm going to try a few things and see if I can make it work. So what I went ahead and did is I uploaded the city coordinates. I just asked ChatGPT for that. Then I went, can you create a Python code I can run with a world map with some animations? And it created this Python code for me. So I just copied that, headed over here to my notepad. And I'm just going to run this now and show you how this works. Okay. Hopefully you can see this. We can zoom in. We can pan around. like We can spin the world. You can see we have this play button here. So when I click play here now, 
we can actually see the shortest route in kind of these animations. And we can even uh, hover, so we can see Cairo, Rome, London, Oslo, New York, Toronto, Rio. So you get the point. That's quite cool, right? So all of this was created inside the code interpreter. So very happy how this turned out. Uh, yeah, very cool. So again, flawless effort by the code interpreter. Very happy with the results. And I kind of think we topped it off with this. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. Hope this was kind of cool. Gave you some inspiration to what you can do with the code interpreter. Got a lot of ideas uh, coming up with a lot of practical stuff you can use it for. So follow along. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.